I'm Dr. D from Explore Holistic. In an earlier video, I had discussed the reasons why you should replace a missing tooth. Today, I'm going to be talking about what you can replace that missing tooth with. Modern dentistry has come a very, very long way, but unfortunately, it brings out a lot of confusion about what people should actually do and what kind of procedure should they go through. In this video, I'm going to be talking about four different ways that you can replace missing teeth or that missing tooth the pros, the cons, and hopefully by listening to this video, you'll get more of an insight to help make an informed decision on the best way to go. So let's get started. There are quite a few factors that may come into play when you make your decision to replace that missing tooth or teeth. First one is how invasive is this procedure? How much tooth structure is being drilled? Will I be in pain? Will there be um, other difficulties that I will have during this process? Secondly, how convenient is it? Do I have to keep coming back? Will I need adjustments continually? Uh, the third one is how much time will I need to quote, get back to normal? When am I gonna be myself again? How is this going to look? Is this going to look funny? Am I going to look okay? And of course, we also have to look at the cost. How much is this going to cost us? All four of these options I will talk about are viable, trustworthy options, but they all have their own different benefits or downsides. What's most important is for you to understand how you feel about them and understand them so that you can make an educated decision, one that will be right for you. The first option will be a partial denture. Now, partial dentures are removable appliances. This appliance has a substructure or a framework that's made either of metal or resin, and the appliance is held in position by clamping or clasping onto the adjacent teeth. Some of the disadvantages, and which is a major one, is you have to take it out every night. There could be decay around the clasped teeth. The clasps may also produce forces on the teeth, holding the appliances in place, causing them to loosen over time. You may also get food under the appliance, so you usually have to go and clean them after every meal. You may have a metallic taste. You may see unsightly metal clasps when you smile. Upper parcels may also go across your palate, which may be uncomfortable for some, while lower partials have a bar that is positioned behind your lower front teeth, which may cause irritation. And it's going to take some time getting used to. Why do people use this? Well, it's the ability to replace both single and multiple missing teeth with one appliance. It can be constructed of both metal and non-metal. The resin frameworks are lighter, they feel more natural, and of course there's minimum tooth preparation, so there's not much drilling or reshaping of the teeth. And these also can be used as a temporary measure until you may be able to get a non-removable appliance. And of course, partial dentures are the lowest cost option. A second option is the Maryland Bridge, which is also known as a resin bonded retainer, which is considered to be fixed or non-removable appliance. Here you have a single replacement tooth that's suspended between the two surrounding teeth by what are called flat wings that conform to the shape of the tongue side of these adjacent teeth. These wings are then either bonded or cemented in place. Some of the problems include that you need special flossing technique because the replacement tooth and the surrounding wings are all connected and you can't get through the, with floss from the top. Secondly, the bonded resins and cements may not be strong enough to withstand the biting pressure and therefore loosen, especially if you happen to be a grinder or a clencher. And if it does loosen, it may not be able to be rebonded or re-cemented, so that becomes a disadvantage. Some of the advantages of the appliance include that you don't have to take it out every night and you have very little reduction of the surrounding teeth. Again, they can be constructed of either metal or non-metal and these are the lowest cost of the fixed or non-removable appliances. A third option is the three unit bridge. Now in this scenario, the teeth surrounding the missing teeth are reshaped into smaller versions of themselves as you would do it for a crown or a cap. An appliance is constructed where both caps or crowns on the surrounding teeth are connected by a fake or dummy replacement tooth. Some disadvantages may include that it's a very invasive procedure. You really need to shape or drill down the surrounding tooth, possibly causing sensitivity or may even be needing root canal treatment in the future. You also might be shaping perfectly healthy teeth. You're also going to require special flossing techniques, which is as similar as the Maryland Bridge. You may also get decay under the bridge, requiring replacement. And these can be costly, depending upon the types of materials used and where this bridge is located. 
Some advantages include that you don't have to take it out every night as well. And it's a very, very stable way to replace a missing tooth. And bridges are usually very long lasting, especially if proper hygiene is practiced. And again, it can be made from both metal and ceramic materials. Finally, you have the implant. Now implants involve a surgical procedure whereby a root shaped fixture is placed under the gum and a single replacement tooth is later connected into that fixture. Some disadvantages include that it requires a two-step process. One is surgical for placing the implant, and then a second, which is constructing the tooth that goes on top of the implant. And this usually involves a lengthy process, which in some instances could be six months or longer. You also need to have a highly skilled dental professional, and not everyone is a candidate for an implant. You may not have correct bone, or maybe you're a grinder or a clencher. And it is also the highest cost of any tooth replacement. Why do people like implants? Well, you don't touch the surrounding teeth, so you avoid possible sensitivity or even root canals. Implants are closest to having your natural tooth, and implants can be made both, again, of metal or ceramics for those not wanting metals in their mouths. The ability to floss your teeth as you would your natural tooth. And you have a very high success rate, and they are long-lasting. So there you have it four different options on how you can replace that missing tooth. They all will work. It just depends on which one will work for you. So I hope it sheds some light on some of the advantages and disadvantages of each one of these options so you can make an informed decision and decide which one would work for you. Thank you for watching. Like us and hit that subscribe button and I will see you soon. Bye.